Good afternoon, MMTs. Well, here it is, uh, February 11, 2014. We're going to talk about 2014 very clearly. What I am going to say uh, for Tommy and whatnot and uh, Johnny is that we started the S&P out from the bull rally of 2013. We were extremely overbought. And once again, what I will tell uh, everyone is, is that the S&P had that high print, and we can see it very clearly. And it was 1850.84. From that point, the bear started to take control when that would not uh, break higher through resistance. On the date of 1-23-2014, we opened 1842 on the S&P and we had a reversal that day down to 1820 was the low. So, having said that, everyone, is it's going to be very interesting as we continue to go through the year because what we did was we made the high on uh, this date. Again, it's going to be 114. And so we went from 1850, I told you, and at the end of 131, we had a total of nine, uh, 78 points was to the uh, upside. And that would be on the 31st that we hit 1772. So that there was the January bear reversal. on, And that was a total of 78 points reversal on the S&P. Then February comes along. And our first day of February was the following. The low on the S&P was 1739.66. That was the first trading day on 2 3 2014. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 days later, we make a high of 1823 on that recovery move. So, therefore, I can say that the bear had. 80, 78 points this way, and the bull has come back, and that bull is in charge, but not by much, because it has about an 81 point reversal on the way back up for the bull. So, both between the bull and the bear, you would say right here, right now, that the bear is only, in, I mean, that the bull has taken control by a couple of points. And why is that? You've got to take the calendar high to the low. Then you have to take the February first day of trading of the low, which was right here. And that's when the S&P at 1739. And that was a 110 point reversal. So when you take the amount of points going up, we can say to everyone now that the bull and the bear, the bull is slightly a little bit ahead now in the February counter rally in the S&P. So we had minus 78 points and then the points going up. Well, they're at about, let's say, when you take the low bar, it starts right here. And that is 1739. And the high here was 1823. We can say that 1739 was the low starting the first trading day of February. And we went up to 1823.54. That bull reversal is 83 points off of the low right now. And when we take a look at where the resistance level is, is, is this bull going to continue to run the same way that it did? in 2013? No. I want everyone to know though that when we hit 1739 and we started this very first breakout, we were oversold on that S&P because we were. And you got to remember that we hadn't seen a daily sell signal like this forever. 
And yes, we know what the strength of that bear reversal was in January. But then again, we have the exact points off of that low up to resistance. So the bull has come back tremendously. Not only that, we are going to be range bound for all the calendar 2013. And what does that mean? That means one thing only. We are going to have a big bull run and we're also going to have that bear run. Both the bull and the bear will run their marathon distances and we will be monitoring them here. So as of the reading right now, we do not have a buy signal on the S&P. It took forever to get a, uh, a sell signal over here. You got to remember that it wasn't until uh, uh, 827 of 13 where we had a little bit of a daily sell signal. Here, it got very oversold very quickly in January. And we had to go long because, you know, just like when they get extremely overbought, they do. And this move here is where the bulls that did not get in the market, that sat on the sideline along with the earnings season, decided to come in and get their feet wet. And what I am saying is, is that this bull does not and will not get stronger until the uh, moving average convergence divergence right now is minus 8.2. And so we are definitely working off at the bottom. But to say that that bull is going to get back into control, you're going to have to have a daily buy signal. It doesn't have one as of now. And that is the reality. What we can say, though, that the S&P broke below its 100-day moving average at 1769 uh, here. And then over here on 2.6, we started to, we gapped up above here today in the 10-day and the 100-day are pointing up slightly. Then we had a big follow through and the 20 day moving average, the 50 day moving average and the 40 day moving average and we closed above it. Now, as we get into the calls and the put side of markets, we're going to be taking a look at the S&P calls and puts again. The puts just got through paying and the calls are making money now. So having said that, you are welcome to go to stockmarketfunding.com. Click on the trading tab. Click on the free trial tab. If you want to open an account, yes, we'll give you trading capital. Read what's on the page. Open an account. Hit that. Get started today. Hit that. Uh, yes, your account will be above $25,000, so you won't have the pattern day trading rule against you. Read the content carefully, and all your questions will be answered in the live free five-day trial. Here, we talk about the volatility. And when that volatility reached a high, the market had reached a low. The volatility index had made a big peak in January. The fear went straight up and stocks went straight down. And yes, we do cover that specifically here. We talk about the VIX and the S&P 500 and that fear indicator. Watch that right now. Now, here we are. The markets have put in this rally off of their lows. We can clearly see that we broke higher here in the S&P for the first trading day of February. And we had peaked. And then as the fear level came down, we went straight up. Remember that people have very little fear here. At, and we can see what happened, though. We knew when the S&P was going to get ready to go higher. Because the minute that this big red down bar, the 1737 hit on the S&P, we had peaked. And then when we had one, two, three, four, five down days, we knew that the S&P would go up one, two, three, four, five days straight up. That's how you gauge bottoms. So that bull is back and it doesn't have any fear at all. But just let me tell you that this is simply pulling back to test its support level right now. 
So having said that, we are going to be very mindful that the S&P does not have a buy signal and we will be looking at where that bull and bear count ends. So if I were you, it is 211 to 2014 that S&P 500 index does not have a daily buy signal. And until it does, there's going to be a lot of volatility. And we're going to benchmark what that 2014 trade is all about. We already told you before the year started that there was going to be a lot more fear. And there's going to be a lot more uh, corrections in markets. And we're still not got our 10% correction because we haven't. That's going to be coming along somewhere at some time. 